Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I have my monthly feature One Kit 10 Cards. So the latest August card kit has just been released and let's take a look at what's included. This is uh, Mini Crystal Drops, this is a product by Novo and Tonic Studios in bubblegum blush color. You also get some twine, this is a, I think a yard of twine, you also get epoxy stickers in lots and lots of colors that match perfectly the colors of the kit, all of them are tiny little hearts. Now let's open up the 6x6 paper pad, I am going to browse all, through all of the designs so you can see what's included, these are actually 12 single sided uh, papers by Bo Bunny from their early bird collection. And as always, I'm going to give you some ideas on how you can use this pattern paper as I'm making my 10 cards for today. Now let's move on to the stamps. This is a cling stamp, a rubber stamp, which is quite big. It's one of those background stamps that will cover up completely a card front in a beautiful floral design. This stamp is called Modern Rose Blooms and you can get it separately if you like and it really reminds me one of those uh, designs in the pattern papers. Now this is a specialty cardstock, it's by uh, Tonic Studios and it's really gorgeous. I really love uh, Tonic Studios uh, specialty cardstock. Now let's move on to another stamp set, this is the clear stamp set and uh, I am zooming in for you so you can see it better. It comes with um, lots of uh, different designs that you can color in, as well as a bunch of uh, sentiments that you can mix and match to create your very own sentiment. Now, if you don't want to grab the kit, I would definitely suggest to get this stamp set. It is really gorgeous and I think it's going to be a great uh, addition to your stash. You also get these two cardstock in pink and white and I'm going to add some more from my stash so that I can create all my card bases. Now with the first few cards I'm going to show you some ideas on how you can work with the stamp set. So I'm going to stamp this on a piece of white cardstock and this is Bristol paper actually. I am stamping it with a black archival ink so that I can go ahead and color everything with my Zig Clean markers. I'm not using any water at all, I'm just mixing uh, both colors directly on my paper. And as I'm coloring, I want to let you all know that there is a giveaway for this card kit on my blog. You will find the link down below in the description area if you are watching on YouTube. So make sure to visit my blog and leave me a comment there for a chance to win this card kit. I used the pink cardstock to create a square card base. This is four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and I used foam squares to stick this panel on top. I have also created a double bow with the twine that was included in the kit, and now I'm using the Nuvo drops to add some dots all over the place. And my first little card is ready. Moving on to the second card and I'm working on a piece of white uh, panel. This time I'm going to use again the same stamp but I will do some embossing. So I have prepared my paper with uh, my embossing body that removes static electricity and now I'm placing the stamp and the sentiment on my stamping platform. And I'm going to stamp everything with Versamark ink and then apply gold embossing powder. And notice that this time I have placed the stamp in a different position so you get the flyer on the other side than the first card. Now I have chosen one of my circle dies and I'm going to place it just inside this circle. I'm going to secure it with my purple tape there and I'm going to run it through my big shot making sure that I do only partial die cutting. So I only want to cut out a part of the circle since I am going to use the scissors for the rest of it. I'm going to run it through my big shot now, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And now I am going to pop out the die, and you can see where it has cut. And now I will go with my scissors all around this um, design and uh, cut it out. Of course, if uh, you feel that this is helpful, you can go around the design with a pencil and just draw some lines on where exactly you want to cut. I'm just leaving a very little uh, white border 
to make my life easier and then I will go ahead with my scissors and cut it out. This way I am going to create a window with a lovely flower embellishment at the top and I'm going to make a shaker card. So I have a piece of facetate here, I'm going to stick it at the back of my window. And you can see here that I'm using all my scraps, so this is a piece of uh, paper that I was playing with my blending tools up there, but no one will ever know. So you can see how lovely and shiny this uh, card is. This is going for a very elegant card, as I'm keeping everything white and gold. I'm going to add some foam tape at the back, and I will also add foam tape all around the window since I want to nest inside all my confetti pieces. I have already created my card base out of the pink cardstock and I have added um, some uh, light gold hexagons by Novo and some ice white circles again by Novo. I am going to remove the tape and place uh, my panel on top of my card base making sure that I catch all those uh, confetti inside and my card is ready. I'm just going to add some uh, Nuvo drops on top, just for some added embellishment. For the next card I'm going to use again one of uh, the stamps from the clear stamp set. I have stamped it with archival ink, black archival ink on again Bristol paper and since I had my Zig Clean markers on my craft table I'm going to color everything with those. Once I color it I'm going to use my scissors and cut it out leaving a white border around the image which is making my life easier when I do fuzzy cutting. And this is going to be the main focal point of my card. Now the kit comes with some twine which I am going to wrap around my vase and then tie a little bow. And now I'm going to put everything together. I have a white card base that's a standard card size, four and a quarter by five and a half. On top I'm going to stick one of uh, the panels that I have created from the specialty paper in the kit. I just love the shine of it. I'm sticking my focal point on top with some uh, foam tape at the back and I have already stamped a sentiment and this is actually one of the sentiments from the clear stamp set in the kit. Now my card is ready but I want to add some uh, shine on it, some finishing touches, so I will use some of the March crystals by Studio Katia. These, are, these come in this beautiful uh, blue color and I'm going to stick those on my card. Now below you will find a link to the kit as it is but also to the ingredients of the kit if you want to get something separately and I'm also going to link to everything else that I'm using for uh, finishing off my cards such as these crystals. Now I have already created three cards with stamps, so now I will move on and show you some clever and easy ways to use uh, quick cards using up the pattern paper that's included in your kit. So the most easy uh, way that I find is to create little squares out of the pattern paper. So I'm going to use a square die to cut out four squares, but of course you can use just your paper trimmer. I have foam squares at the back and I'm just trying to decide where these are going to go. At the bottom I'm going to stamp uh, one of the sentiments from the stamp set and remember that um, this is uh, really easy to create and make tons of those uh, type of cards especially since these uh, papers come from the same pad and they are made to match together. And you can leave the card as it is or if you find a pattern paper that has uh, lovely things that you can cut out, you can always cut them out and stick them on top of those squares to create your very own embellishments. Like uh, I am doing here, I'm just cutting out some of the butterflies, which I'm going to pop on some of the squares. Again, these are going to match perfectly with the pattern paper underneath since they all come from the same pad. I am sticking the butterflies here and there and since I have all those epoxy tiny little hearts I'm going to embellish the squares with those hearts as well. A simple design looks really great and you can use up tons of those uh, pattern papers that you have been hoarding for ages. Now here is another clever way to use up pattern paper. Just cut out strips of paper and create a fishtail at the bottom 
make sure that all those pattern papers come from the same pad and just stack those uh, banners on top of a panel. In this case, I'm using the um, specialty paper that was included in the kit. At the top of the banners, I used the glue tape, but at the bottom, I'm using foam squares. So this way, they are going to be a little bit raised at the bottom and add some dimension on my card. Now for the sentiment, you, can, you have many options. You can stamp one of uh, the sentiments included in the kit. You can also use uh, one uh, sentiment die that you probably have in your stash. And this is exactly what I will do. So this is where I'm cheating. I won't be using um, a sentiment from the kit. I have just cut out the word friend, which I'm going to stick on top. And here my card is uh, finished, but I always love to add some little details at the end. So here I'm using clear drops by Studio Katia. And I'm going to stick them on top of my card. Now I get a lot of questions about this uh, pencil that I'm using to pick up uh, tiny little pieces. This is just a wax pencil. Now I'm going to finish it off by adding some uh, gloss all over the word friend. I'm using Nouveau Crystal Glaze, but you can of course use glossy accents if you have that on your stash. Now the kit comes with this uh, gorgeous background stamp, which I am going to use to create a little panel that is going to look like lace. So I'm adding Versamarking all over my background stamp. I'm going to stamp this uh, white panel with that and apply pink embossing powder. And there are so many different ways that you can use this beautiful background stamp. I went with uh, Versa marking and uh, colored embossing powder, but you can go with white embossing powder and then, then use your blending tools and apply color on top of it for a resist look. Looks gorgeous either way. So I'm going for a very elegant looking card again, quite simple, but uh, really pretty. And I like how this panel on top really looks like lace. So I'm going to uh, cut off all the excess and you can see that I have uh, stuck it down on an angle just for some added interest. I have cut out a thin strip of this uh, gorgeous um, silver cardstock. This is satin looking and uh, I have placed it temporarily there so that I know where I am supposed to stamp my sentiment. For that I'm going with the sentiment that says with love which I am going to white emboss it. And I end it up with a clean and simple but very elegant looking card. For my next card I'm going to combine a stamped image with uh, lots of pattern paper. So I have stamped this uh, pot with flowers on uh, Bristol paper and now I'm using my Prisma colors on top of it. I find that uh, Bristol paper makes this uh, blending super easy and um, I'm just using a couple of shades for each of the petals. I am starting always with a darker shade and apply it at the base of each petal very softly and then with my second color I go uh, heavily on top of it and it makes uh, super easy to blend everything. I might go back with a darker color again to add some more details and I will continue coloring everything with uh, this uh, technique and then I am going to use my scissors to fuzzy cut all around the pot. Now it's time to put everything together. I'm using two panels from the pattern papers from the kit and I'm going to place the one with the text on top of uh, the yellow one. And this actually comes with tiny little birds. Don't know if you can tell from the video. I'm going to add foam squares at the back of my pot and this is going to be the focal point. And again, you can stamp uh, on a strip piece of paper your sentiment from the kit or you can go ahead and uh, stick on top any of the die cuts that you, that you probably have on stash. I decided to go with the word friend again since it's new and I absolutely love it. And I'm also going to complete the sentiment by sticking down a tiny little piece that says hello.
moving on to the next card with even more ideas on how you can use up this pattern paper. So I have cut out a strip from this pattern paper and I'm also going to use a die that I have that is a balloon. But uh, remember you can use the same design instead of a balloon you can use any shape die that you probably have. It can be a star, it can be a heart. Just cut it out from the same pattern paper as the strip. I am using some uh, foam tape at the back of this white panel and I'm going to stick it on top of my card base. And now I can stick down the balloon and you can see how lovely the strip of paper at the right matches with my balloon. Now I'm going to tie a bow with uh, the um, a twine that was included in the kit and uh, this is the third time I'm using it on one of my cards. I think that I have used up the whole of it. I'm going to cut off the excess and you can leave this hanging as it is now just nice and loose but you will see that I'm going to change up my mind later on and I'm just going to stick it down straight. Now I have already prepared my sentiment that says with love and I have white embossed it on a piece of uh, black cardstock. And this is where I don't like how the twine looks so I am going to do some uh, surgery there and just uh, make sure that it uh, stays nice and straight. I did uh, stamp one more sentiment from uh, the stamp set that says a special gift for you and now I will finish it off by sticking uh, a few of my silver um, confetti and my card is ready. Now I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way on how you can use up most of those epoxy stickers. So I have already cut out tiny little circles as you can see. I have stamped my sentiment which I am going to cut out with one of my banner dies. And my sentiment says from my heart to yours. And then I'm going to put everything together on top of my pink card base. So I'm going to add some uh, tape adhesive at the back and stick my banner at the bottom. Of course you can white impose your end sentiment, you can um, stamp it with black ink, so many different options there. And now I'm going to add tiny little uh, foam squares at the back of all these circles and I'm going to spread them around my card. You can add even more of those uh, little uh, circles and make them look as polka dots. I decided to go only with uh, a number of uh, uh, white circles as uh, the number of the different colors of the hearts so which one of those hearts will go on top of one of those circles and I'm going to finish off my card by adding tiny little dots with my white Nuvo drops and since we have so many of those epoxy hearts you can uh, uh, must produce this card and create a bunch of them I absolutely love clean and simple cards and I think this is super cute And finally for my last card I'm going to use again pattern paper. I have cut it out to be slightly smaller than my standard card. I'm going to place a die on top and cut out a circle from one side of the panel making sure that it fits one of the sentiments inside. And for this card I'm going with a sentiment that says thank you. So just making sure that I can fit it there. I'm going to run it through my big shot. So now I'm going to stamp my sentiment directly on my card base that says thank you and I'm using Steel Blue ink by Simon Says Stamp which I find matches perfectly the color of my cardstock and I have already uh, made sure that this is going to show through the window there. So I'm going to add some uh, foam tape at the back of my panel and stick that on top of my card base. Now this is a super simple card but we can make it super extra special if you add crystals at the center of all those shapes. So I'm going to go and add uh, silver crystals by Studio Katia which I absolutely adore. They will give a beautiful shine at the end. It doesn't take too long to add uh, one of those on each uh, of the circles and it uh, gives a really beautiful and posh look at the end. 
And that was a great example on how you can take a simple pattern paper to the next level. Now, let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I have created for today using uh, products from the latest uh, card kit by Simon Says Stamp. Remember that there is a giveaway running on my blog for a chance to win this card kit and you will find everything that I used linked down below. And now let's take a quick look on what's left. Of course, I have my new mini Nouveau Drops. I do have my two stamps for my stash. I ended up using the most of my twine, but I have lots and lots of hearts and many more cardstock that I haven't used at all. And here are some close-up photos on all the 10 cards that I created for today. I hope you had fun that you got inspired don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know which one of those cards was your favorite. I always love to find out if uh, my favorite card for the, from the bunch is yours as well. So anyway, thank you all so much for visiting me today and I'll see you all next time.